yes yes massive recruit back once again with another video for those of you who don't know me you know and just join my channel welcome uh to you know i'm one of the one of 20 people probably that started the drum and bass uh, jungle hardcore scene back in 1991 was producing on an amiga blah 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 and today i'm going to show you my little tech haul that i got for the uh for the setup uh, i've got this uh, tp link five port gigabit switch this is to try and speed up the internet connection in here to try and help with the live streams and again i do apologize with uh the live streams the way they've been going we've been trying to get this thing configured uh i've got 10 megabyte upload speed but it seems not to be working very well uh with the internet i've also got this uh this is a which i've got a string up it's like one of these um hot swap I said I was going to get one of these. I picked up one of these hot swap micro tech uh, adapters. Now, with this, this is for me to be able to connect it into my Akai. At the back there, it's got SCSI port. And I'm going to be connecting this into my Akai where my Mo Drive port is. And um, what I'm going to do is each time one of my... Um, SD cards gets filled up I'm able to swap it and then have a little SD card library uh, I saw a nice little SD card sort of holder wallet uh, that not so, sorry not SD card not a nice uh, compact flash library I think this holds SD cards as well I'm not sure quote me on it guys if you've got one of these uh, and let me know what goes in here it's pretty interesting to see what goes in here it looks like a some sort of PCMI a port so maybe some expansion capabilities there um, not 100% sure on how that all works, uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's basically that. So I'm going to put this on the outside of my Akai, so I've got extra hot swap capabilities, as well as an internal sound library with my CF card reader. Um, I've also thought about putting one of these on an external SCSI device. You know, like SCSI holds seven devices, so you can you know that can count as one. I can get one of those external SCSI towers. Uh, they're quite cheap now. I've seen them for 30 quid upwards. And you can load them up with, you know, with these sort of things. Find some way to, of mounting them in there and have up to five different SCSI gizmos. And I've also ordered a uh, GoTech USB card, uh, sorry, GoTech USB floppy emulator um, that reads floppy drive images from USB. Now, the whole purpose of that is I'm going to archive all of my disks. Uh, I know I've got some more disks uh, that's, uh, that Equinox has got um, holding of mine. So I'm looking to get those disks uh, back off him and also archive all of those disks. Now, these floppy emulators can uh, hold up to 1,000 disks on a USB drive. So that would be the entire library of all my disks all backed up, ready to go with the latest, uh, you know, the latest onslaught of tech. So I am faffing about with all this gear at the moment. But to be honest, I'm in my element. Comment down below if you all so finding this interesting but i'm in my element getting all this stuff going and there's new so much stuff and tech out for the akai now uh that i just want to take part in uh in checking it all out now uh i've also picked up uh a, a sort of a, a, a cat5 lead to just connect to the pc to speed things up a little bit let's pop a belkin one now prize of the week for me oh i'm not going to show you prize of the week yet i'm going to show you this first now, I managed to pick this SCSI card. No, wait a minute. This is not the, no, 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 this is the wrong one. I actually ordered a new SCSI card on this. I can actually see a couple of pins that are bent here on this one. So I'm not even sure if this one's gonna hold out. Um, but I got another SCSI card that um, had the right sort of, hang on a minute, no, this is the bloody SCSI that I ordered from eBay. Look, that's the right connection. But, oh shite, man. Somebody's duffed me. Look, this is loose and look, if you look here carefully, these pins are a little bit iffy. I could get a screwdriver and I'll try and uh, try and unbend it. I think I'm going to have a go unbending this, but I'm not going to connect it up to my Akai. Because, not just yet, not until I know it's 100% working, because I'll tell you why. Akai's got a um, scuzzy fuse in it, and if you blow that, I've read on forums and stuff, it's a proper nightmare to uh, get sorted out. And... Uh, I'm no Akai motherboard expert, so I don't want to risk messing that up here. Now, prize of the week. It has finally arrived, guys. Now, as you know, um, I had a load of, of these um, SCSI zip drive, uh, easy SCSI 135 megabyte um, 
easy no easy zip 135 megabyte discs with loads of my beats and stuff that I wanted to uh, get and a lot of those breaks and stuff have been recycled straight to go into the Akai and also that's another reason I want to get the SCSI thing going because I want to be able to recycle my beats from the computer and uh, another so oh before I go into that all that let me just show you here it is I've actually got one in the box. I haven't even opened this, and uh, I have, you know, simply because I wanted to share this guy, this with you. I know, it's, I know, I'm not really one, you know, fun, uh, one to do uh, box opening videos, but in this instance, this is an old school, uh, you know, retro. Uh, let me just adjust the camera there for you guys so you can see what we're what we're working with here. This is an old school retro um, easy zip drive, and I'll tell you. Look at that, it comes with the manuals. This is immaculate, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure this is gonna work, because I have no idea how this has been kept so nice. Okay, so it's a bit dusty when you pull it out. Look, they've even put, if you even get, even get SCSI cables with it now. Ah, oh, the SCSI cable's not what I was expecting. I was expecting that 25 pin uh, to the 50 pin, so. Maybe I'm not going to connect this tonight, guys, because it, it's not going to fit on the back of my sampler straight away off the bat. But look, it's here. It's intact. These are quite rare. It took me three weeks uh, for the one of these to come up on eBay. And I'm so happy I've got this today, uh, you know, over the moon to be able to put my disk drives in it. It makes this little kind of noise when you switch it on that, that sort of goes... I remember it when it used to sort of boot up the disc. Look, it comes with a power supply. Uh, it's all, I mean, it's a bit dusty. I ain't gonna lie, but they've kept the box, so it must be worthy of something. What's this? This is this is interesting. Ah, oh, this is a SCSI Terminator. So I've got a SCSI Terminator to go with it as well. You need that to sort of, uh, if it's the last thing on the on the on the chain, I should imagine. Now, I've also got something cool. One more cool thing to show you with my old tech. Just want to say a big shout out to all my fans out there. Also, I did announce the winner of this in one of my videos. I'm not going to say which one. I assume whoever has won it is not a regular viewer of my videos. So I would like this to go to somebody who actually does watch my videos on a regular basis and hasn't just subscribed just to win this. So I'm going to leave this for another couple of weeks. And if they don't, if they don't claim it, I am going to give it away again. So if you want a chance to win this, guys, smash the like button. And if it gets to 100 likes, I'm going to announce the winner from a random person who's commented down below on this video for this lovely M Audio M Track 2x2 two two card. Brand spanking them in the box. I've only opened it to do a review, and that is it. Obviously, I've got my cards there that I use. I just wanted to check this card out and give it away. So, to show we're serious, without further ado, we are going to give away our microphone. Remember I did a video a little while back saying does anyone really want a microphone? All you have to do is comment down below. So I'm going to give away the winner of the microphone. So without further ado, random winner, here goes. So I don't know who's, I don't know who's coming up on the screen here, but get in contact with me on the busybeside at gmail.com to claim your microphone. You have won mate, well done for you. Big up the chest. Now, getting back into our little retro haulings, uh, I'm not sure how much time we've got left. I also found this old CD-ROM uh, library. Now, it's got Mac OS X9. So, so to show you, I used to use Mac OS X9 back in the day when I used to do all the Joker stuff and stuff. Now, the reason why I'm pulling this up is because there's a few hot bits of hardware that we used to use, and this reminds me of them. Like, you've got the Lacey. Let's just get the, let's get the camera right, hold on. Okay, so you've got your lacy. This is this is like a lacy crooked uh, level, right? This is like a lacy uh, disc where I used to use for burning. It's on Windows. But the main thing I wanted to show you is this. I found a SCSI adapters, SCSI adapters for Mac and PC. So it's like this was the drivers for one of the SCSI cards. Now I'm not sure what SCSI card that was, but somehow that must have been got used but i also found this which is really interesting uh here's another one look super scuzzy install software and that is for mac and windows right 
and but the most important one is this there we go this is what i found adaptec scuzzy 2906 drivers for the map now this must be what i used to use to run propeller heads recycle uh when we were doing uh our beats now recycle tends to give problems as far as i remember on windows 95 now on the mac i remember it was seamless never gave no problems we didn't have to install any aspi drivers and on windows you have to but on the on the mac so if you guys wanted to run an old you know got hold of an old g5 g sorry g4 tower or some sort that had scuzzy built onto it and, and got got hold of a copy of recycle it should work straight off the bat um i am eager wear we're kind of going into a bit bit of a boring ter territory now so anyway so anyway guys i just wanted to share that with you uh you know it's friday here today uh obviously i don't think it's going to be friday by the time i manage to edit and upload this video but i just wanted to share that little haul with you i'm going to be getting on to some more tech te uh, tech bits and pieces um and sorting out uh, my atari st i know there's quite a lot of comments down below about the atari st so i will be uh pushing forward with that project and also doing some quick little tutorials about the akai there'll be rusty tutorials I haven't done tutorials. I haven't even used the Akai hardcore like I used to. But we used, to, you know, we used to sit there going like this on it, and it was pretty quick. Uh, just getting into it, and once you build your skills up, you know, someone will sit there and they'll, and they'll sit there like this. Look, the Akai's there. I'll be like this, and you think, what the hell is he doing? And and you know, that's how it used to be. Uh, those of you who do use Akai, you know how it goes. This is this is the flavour. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's been great. I hope you enjoy the video. Please comment down below. I do look out for your comments and it does help actually with the ratings of this channel. And the more you push this channel up the search engines, the more, more people will find it and the bigger our community will grow. And obviously the bigger the channel will grow for me. And maybe one day I'll be able to just do this full time without having to worry about anything else. Thank you very much. Take care. God bless. Peace.